education in Idaho is booming, but it turns out people of certain ages like the Gem State better than others. That's true. More than any other demographic, it is the young and the very old who are making their trek to Idaho. The impact from those two groups could make waves for decades. Jake Melder is joining us live in studio with the story. Following the Great Recession, Idaho has seen an influx of newcomers, almost as if gold was struck for a second time. But the nuggets dug up today aren't precious metals. Instead, people are finding new opportunities and a place to wind down their lives. The secret's out. Walk down the streets of Boise and you'll see people of all ages, but slowly taking over the businesses are millennials, those aged 20 to 35, and they bring with them a unique ideology. They have an intense desire to matter, and they want to work somewhere where they feel like they matter, feel like they have opportunity, feel like they're being listened to. Area leaders in business and government have taken note, forming groups and think tanks to capture the demographic. It's a very all-inclusive response by this community to um, include young professionals. As one group comes to the state to start their lives, many others are coming at life's close. More than 35,000 people aged 65 and up have moved to Idaho since 2011, more than any other age group. They bring with them a higher demand for health care. Medical service utilization is increased. It's a natural portion of aging as we go along. In response, area hospitals are teaming up to provide the best care. The patient-centered medical home is a new way for doctors to collaborate on patients' care, regardless of where they get treatment. A holistic, long-term continuum of care involving both chronic disease and wellness programs with a goal of reducing utilization and keeping people out of the hospital. The added demand for care means more opportunity, bringing us full circle. Jobs are out there for the incoming generation. There's actually a lot of potential opportunities um, for young professionals in this in this market, and uh, I think it's only going to get better. Although the groups seeing the largest growth are the young and the old, it's the middle-aged that dominate the state. Nearly half of the population is between 40 and 64. Idaho is, in general, somewhat young, though. The median age is two years younger than the national average. Live in studio, Jake Melder, 600 Side.